So, straight back into the next episode. Hello there and welcome. Directly straight back from the last episode, here I am. And what what is it I'm going to do? <gasps> That's right, we're going to finish off the mob trap today. So to do this we need plenty of cobble, however, just in case we fall off and die. And we need plenty of torches. We will need some more. So, let's get out the wooden planks and the wood and make ourselves some more charcoal. Okay, and now let's bounce all the way back up and start building out. So, the big pushing force in this will be water. And as everybody knows, water travels seven or eight blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've either made it too short or too big. I can't really work out which one at this very point in time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then build backwards on myself. Okay, now to be on the safe side, as I really don't want mobs spawning up here yet. Yes, that is right, I do not want mobs spawning on my mob trap yet. As it makes it impossible to work on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another torch go should go down about there. And that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now as we know they won't mobs won't spawn on this yet, because I am up here. However, the moment I go back downstairs they will start spawning again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a one there. A one there. And so, two here. Okay, now, so, you know, just build this about eight blocks out again. And now would be a really good time to know how far the water is going to go. So, yes, and, um,. Like this would be a good time to know how far the water travels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because if water travels down, that really doesn't work. Um, so I suppose now would be the best place to test it out. Okay then, now I've built up by putting that block there as well. So now we can just drop down here. Bollocks. No. Oh, oh, just made it. Options to cheat mode. Turn off the rain, as I don't like the rain. And then back to recipe mode. Now 
Now then, so up there, I do in fact need to place that schnizzle down. Um, what's that schnizzle? Um, forgot what the schnizzle is. Um, yes, there we go. Just remembered. So three iron to make a bucket. Now, here's something I should have done earlier. Actually, get your bucket. Teach you to the transmutation table. Pick up the water. And then place the water in the transmutation table. As you can see, water bucket has is an EMC value of seven nine seven six nine. Normal bucket has an EMC value of seven six eight, which means a bucket and a bit of cobblestone makes correct another bucket of water. So we just simply go in here. We go bucket. And that only makes a bucket. And when I put a bit of cobblestone in it, we can then make another water bucket. If we desperately need more iron, I can always then also put the bucket back to make... <gasps> yeah, right again. Three pieces of iron. Seems so that's going to get destroyed anyway. Perfect! So I've made them all the right size anyway. Okay, so I just need to make sure to do, do it like that. Okay. Um. Oh my god, that was... that was sketchy. Okay, now then, so, um... A block of cobble. There we go. Turn all of these into... more torches. Perfect. And we go back up. Okay, this is the worst part of the building process, as this is the longest part. So, something you need to know is that mobs can fall easily fall two blocks will jump off a two block height however they will never they can't jump yeah they can't jump um, two blocks and seeing as you can only get out of water when it's the block you're trying to get onto is the same height as the top of the source block that means that it is impossible for them it's possible for the monsters to jump in as they are stupid monsters however it also makes it impossible for them to get out which is what we really want so as you saw the test there before that was about me trying to show you that well, not that was me trying to prove show to myself whether or not the water would get to the end and push the mobs to the end, or whether it would stop short, or whether it wasn't enough. Because mobs won't jump off the edge unless they're pushed. Okay, now then, because this is the only one without any torches, in goes the torch. Fall down here. Fall down here. And let's get some more cobblestone. However, it's a hell of a lot bigger building project now, so I'm going to get out more cobblestone. Cobblestone. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to build a bit there, just so that I can get up. And I can't build one there either at the moment. Because then I won't be able to get out of the hole. So yeah, all we're doing here is building the mob trap. Building, building, building the mob trap. Building, building, building the mob trap. Building, building, building the mob, tra mob trap. Yeah, there's nothing really very interesting about this at all. However, it is essential in a, um, any skyblock sort of survival map. Okay then, now for the worst part about building. Well no, this isn't the worst part. The worst part is putting on the roof, I think. That's the bit that everyone likes doing the most, however, I don't... I don't like doing it, as... Um, you know, you always end up falling down the hole two or three times and it's just a pain as far as I'm concerned. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. So what I'm doing here is I'm building the platform of which they shall spawn on. Don't forget to place I think it's best to put two torches down in each section just to be on the safe side. because if mobs spawn up here before you really want them to spawn then coming up here to build is a nightmare so just place two torches down in each section to be certain of to be certain of no mobs spawning and then you can go downstairs safely Now, in a game like, th in a skyblock map, what happens is entities, like, um, especially um, mobs, bad ones, that is, so that's zombies, spiders, and skeletons, all need a space to spawn. They have a code which says when you have this sort of uh, area and you have this sort of. Um, when these perimeters are met, when these um, conditions are met, only then are you to spawn. Okay, when the darkness level is less than 7, and I, d I don't know the actual ones, but the darkness level is less than 7, and you know player and especially this one when the player is you know seven block more than like 23 blocks away only then can you spawn now a mob trap is brilliant because the height it needs to be for them to fall is further than um, you need to be away from them for them to spawn in the first place now on a normal map they have huge areas to spawn over, you know. There's loads of places where the conditions are met. However, the game can only produce a certain amount of um, mobs. So it was, so it's sort of telling itself, okay then, so, I want to, we need to try spawn, I don't know, 70 mobs. And with those 70 mobs, I need it to do this. So I want to spawn we can spawn a maximum of 70 mobs. Okay. Now on a normal map, that 70 mobs, the best conditions, you know, there's also a random chance added into it, are sp the, the um, 70 mobs are spread over quite a large area. However, when you build a mob trap, as this section here is the only section where all the conditions are met for them to spawn, it means that all 70 of those mobs will spawn that's right 
in that one in this one box here and therefore that means you get uh, all of the maps zombies and spiders and skeletons spawning in just this one area now it's a the larger the surface area the more zombies that will spawn and the more levels the more zombies will spawn and and the more zombies there are I'm call, I call say zombies but I, when I say zombies I mean zom the evil the evil mobs like spiders and all of them as well but yeah the more zombies yeah the more chance you have of <gasps> yes that's right of them dropping into these sections here because what they will have a tendency to do is walk over here and then go over here and then I'll go over here over here oh, I'll stand right on the edge then I'll go over here again whereas every now and again there'll be a mob which goes doo -doo 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 and will fall down the hole now they may try to get back out but being in water they won't be able to uh, water is only here because then what will happen is the water will go no and slowly push them down this way the ladder won't be there or nor will that block and they go no and the water stops just at the edge where they can't push back they, they're, they're not very good at pushing back they can stay still and as long as they're looking the other way and trying to move they will stay still but that doesn't happen very often so if they're even looking to the side here they will be moving sideways and then eventually they'll get pushed down and that is how this mob trap works and now to do the worst part about this and that is to start doing the roof however really before you start doing the roof you really need to place some torches down else you just won't get where you're trying to get to well I mean you will but you'll get it with a hell of a lot it takes a hell of a lot longer and you need to slay millions of zombies to get there and it's just a pain in the butt really So yeah, the the trick I was going to use is a transposer at the bottom. But, but to use a transposer, you need some redstone and a bit of iron and all that. Now, the way to get redstone in this map, when you think about it, you realise the only way you can get redstone in the vanilla game, which is the only thing you can rely on, spawning, and mobs, I suppose. There could be some new mobs or anything to spawn is redstone ore but as you have noticed there is no mining involved in this map so how I hear you ask do you get you know redstone and that is because the chests which pop out one will give you redstone normally the very first one so what that means you have to do is um, finish the first one. Now to finish the first one you need quite a bit of iron and the best way to make quite a bit of iron is with a mob trap. So what that means will happen is we will now have to go back downstairs oh, to get ourselves some more cobble for some reason. I haven't really thought this one through. Um, I'm getting distracted slightly. Which means that what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start up the mob trap and let them fall down here and I'm going to have to collect all their goodies by hand. And then I can go off and um, do the other bit a bit later on. I can use the transposer after I get loads and loads and loads of materials so the easiest way to build the roof I think is to make an outer rim first
The outer rim will provide you with all you need to build the rest of the roof. There are many different ways of building a roof. All you have to do is make it too high. Only too high. You make it three high, endermen will spawn. And if they take blocks away, it means it will not work during the day as well. And that is very essential. As that will mean you get an insane amount of loot, you know, every few seconds. So, hopefully what I can do is I can finish off this mob trap before the end of this episode, which is eight minutes. However, I may have to do the last two minutes after I have had some food. I'm not going to go get it yet. I haven't had it yet, but I may need to have food first. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you can tell, I like my patterns of three very much so. quite difficult to get around the place though however as you now no longer have a proper roof as such okay so now this is why you place so many torches down as I have run out of materials now without torches that corner in the dark is would be plenty dark enough to spawn. It would probably be dark enough during the day to spawn stuff in that corner. However, I can feel quite safe in the knowledge that that won't happen. Don't know where he came from, but that gave me a bit of a shock. If I'd lost my cobblestone, I would have had to have done the long way again to get lots of cobblestone. I mean, I would have had to start it off doing it a long way. So I have five minutes to finish this mob trap. This is going to be funsies. That might be plenty, but just in the off chance. I can hear my dinner almost ready in the background. Three... Let's just put most of them in there. Let's just keep four. There we go. Okay, I'm also to this time I'm also going to bring up my pickaxe. As I'm going to do some finishing touches. However, I still have a little bit left to go. Before I'm even near finishing. Three, one, two, 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 three, three, three. But no, the the pickaxe is to mine away any bad cobblestone placement like here now there is still one thing that this thing that this um, mob trap is missing and that is water I have forgotten to bring it up this time however that will shortly that will be fixed within the very near future two three Okay, four minutes left, guys. Okay, I think I might possibly be able to do this before dinner and before everything else. The question is, can I do it? Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
Okay, that was a really bad cobblestone placement there. Okay, so first half complete. Should get cheese for this really, shouldn't I? That's what they should do, that's what the Feed the Beast guys should do, is make achievements for this. It'd be so much cooler. Okay, now the easiest way to store water, to put water down up here, is to make yourself a lake. A pond, a po little pond thing. So the easiest way to do this is actually to make two buckets. Got to remember you don't have to worry about wasting by making extras of this sort of thing. As all you do need to do is do that that another one of them. And then let's go back up. As you can just transmute it back, can't you? if you've remembered <laughs> okay so where's that little lake I made up here here's that little lake what you do is you just place one in one corner and one in the other corner and you make yourself an infinite water source Mobs do not spawn in water, so you do not have to worry about them. However, you do need to make sure you fill each edge up correctly. Sorry about that, but I'm going to have to really go soon. So, still, I'm staying on for you guys. Staying on for you guys. But dinner, dinner was calling. Dinner was calling, and I rejected it for you guys. So yeah, and really because I really want to finish this mob trap, I've spent the I've spent over two hours making it now, and I just want to see it work. You will not be able to see it work this episode, guys. I do not have enough time, as you probably worked out. Ah, we need to make more food next time. We'll have plenty of rotten flesh, though. Um. Oh, I didn't make the timer. I didn't make the mark. Oh, ah. Uh, I'm a bad player with this. I'm very bad at this. I'm not, but, um... There we go. Oh, oh, don't want to lose the torch, my no point wasting resources. Well, how many do I need? Two, two, I need two. I need two. I need two, and I've finished. Just to make sure. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, so I don't see any imperfections in the building quality. All that that, that means there's left to do is get rid of this pond and all the torches. 
Okay, now that now there's a definitely a building imperfection in it. Let's get rid of that one. And then we should have ourselves a working mob trap. Uh, this is going to be slightly more difficult than I remember it being. Come here. Come on. My dinner is ready and waiting for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. Did I knock out that block behind me? No, I didn't. So that means the only thing now left to do is to go to here, shift, break this ladder, and place two blocks like that. And then voila! two minutes over, but we should already start to see results I mean like so quickly, you, you'll find it funny how quickly we find results just have to give it a second come on please work I need to get going like now, now, really, now, like, really now. Recipe, cheat, main, recipe. No, I did mean recipe, didn't I? I didn't want to stay on recipe. My god, was that a slime? A slime just spawned in our mob trap, guys. Oh well, I can assure you this is now a working mob trap. Aha, uh -huh, here we come to see come something. <gasps> okay, there's nothing there. There's no, there's no, no, there's no, no, nothing. Oh well, you just saw it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.